Irish-born author of The Uncommon Past, and uh, almost a year ago, my wife and I, uh, Deborah, we drove down here to live full-time in Guatemala, and my book uh, was published last year in July, and it actually made number one in two different categories on Amazon. People often ask why we got into this work, like how we really ended up here in Guatemala. It's, it's really interesting because the work of our book really deals with the evolution of human awareness at, at the highest level. So what we decided to do was to see how could the theories and techniques of the uncommon path be applied literally on the ground with the people who need it the most, the people who, as we saw this morning, have no light, have no food, have no shoes. And how can we connect the most intelligent and the most evolved people in the world and bring them down to this to, to this, to see how can we use that level of intelligence and awareness to help these people. People often ask how we got involved in the humanitarian work down here, and it all started last August when we came down to visit Guatemala on a vacation, and we found a, a flyer were one of the projects of the God's Child Project and we went there to visit and we realized that there was a lot of work going on underneath the, like the tourist surface of, of, of Antigua and of Guatemala. We are here in El Centro Sonidor, the Dreamer Center, which is the God's Child Project's main base and hub of operations here in Guatemala. My name is Luke Armstrong, I'm the Director of Programs for Nuestros Ayjados, or the God's Child Project. The God's Child Project was founded in 1991 by human rights activist Patrick Atkinson. Today we have 12,000 people that are benefiting from all of our programs, 4,000 students that we assist to go to school, and we're now 12 distinct programs that in some way fit within our vision and mission statement of breaking the bitter change of poverty through education and formation. So what we do is we do health, we do education, we do human trafficking advocacy. Um, for example, we have a medical clinic that is open to the public and will help people that, to get medical care, to get medicine that otherwise wouldn't be available for them. We also have a social work department that has eight social workers who go out, they monitor our existing cases, and they're always on the lookout for more cases. We're working to really make a generational change in these families. We also build about 85 houses every year. And in these houses, we're just starting to partner with Quetzal in order to build in a sustainable energy system, a solar panel project that can give these families more electricity capabilities than they could otherwise afford. And they have a plan to install the, uh, the units, the solar units in every house next year that they're, that they're building. Yo trabajo para Quetzal. Nosotros lo que vendemos es un sistema pequeño de iluminación solar que ven aquí. Es bastante sencillo. Consiste en un panel solar de 10 watts. Tiene una batería, un controlador de, de, de carga y básicamente aquí se conecta el panel, lo cual carga la batería durante todo el día y ya en la noche se puede utilizar para conectar estos dos focos de alta potencia y que dará luz gratis a la familia. Entonces es bastante sencillo de utilizar y es, uh, ahorra mucho dinero y previene problemas de salud y ambientales. 
And we've just come from 20 minutes up on the mountain where we did the installation of the portable solar unit. This is one of uh, Deborah and I's, one of our pet projects that we are uh, seeking funding for. The unit today was donated by a couple in uh, Salt Lake City by the name of Ava and Matt Westgate. They also sponsor the daughter, uh, whose name is Angelita. So the unit is, um, it's about what the mom is spending in a year on candles, even though she's probably not aware of that. And it provides five hours of light at night. So Angelita is gonna be able to study and she'll be able to cook and they'll have light in their, in their house. So it's one of the three projects that we're working on here. This whole area where we are, all this beauty that you're seeing was once Antigua's garbage dump. And so this was bought little by little, one plot at a time, to eventually come to what it is today, which is an oasis for children and families and people and mothers that are suffering from some of the worst situations imaginable. And they're always on the lookout for more cases, for people that need help and are always asking the question, what can we do to help these individuals, these families, these children, and what can we do and how can we do it in a sustainable way so that they can really break the chains of poverty, so that we're not just giving them fish, but we're teaching them how to fish. We also have a sponsorship program for the kids, and this is something that we're, we're developing into a fully-fledged nonprofit in the States. It's going to be called the Integral Heart Foundation. So we're always looking for uh, sponsors to help with the children's education. Uh, the program that we have in mind is an after-school program where we're going to be using some of the teachings from the book, from the Uncommon Path, uh, Integral Theory, Meditation, and also the Big Mind Process. So that the only way to really rescue these people would be to give them a staging ground that's dignified and then once you make that change within, you can make that change on the outside in their lives.